Chances are, if you have ever talked about Division III golf, you have talked about Methodist University. There is no argument that in the history of Division III golf, the Monarchs have been the dominant program, winning 10 national titles, which have all come under the direction of head coach Steve Conley. We've been very fortunate to have a lot of successful teams. Uh, the program was established when I actually took over. They'd gone to the national championship for, for a long, long time and, and had a lot of top finishes, but they hadn't quite won the national championship yet. So we had a nice run in the 90s, winning 9 out of 10. After winning the championship in 1999, nobody expected Methodist to go 11 seasons without adding another trophy to its collection. Fortunately, last year we were able to squeak one out and, and get our 10th national championship, which was really nice, very rewarding. While Connolly has been a big part of the success at Methodist, the head coach points to several reasons why the school has had so much success on the golf course. It's multifaceted. I mean, we have great weather in North Carolina. So it's a great golf area. We have a golf management program that's one of the 20 accredited by the PGA of America, and that's a big draw for us since we're a small, relatively small, young liberal arts school. It, it really helps us to draw a bunch of kids from all over the country that want to go into the golf industry and, and be a golf professional in the PGA. We have great facilities, uh, and again, a winning tradition. You know, there's a lot of people who want to be associated with a, with a program that has a chance to win national championships, and, and, and we, we have that at Methodist. It doesn't hurt that Methodist alum and PGA Tour player Chad Collins is a product of Conley's program. I think he's probably the most celebrated and decorated Division III golfer that, uh, that's ever been, having won 18 times in college and three individual national championships. Um, very, very good player and just a great guy, and uh, we root for him all the time. Last year ended an 11-year championship drought at Methodist, but something tells me it won't take the Monarchs that long to find the winner's circle again. For College Weekly, I'm Lance Ringler.